Prayer of Jesus Before choosing the twelve apostles, Jesus separated himself from everybody. And what he did was, he prayed the whole night to the Father. And then, he chose the twelve apostles that would follow him, and they would be the foundations of the Christian Catholic Church. I think there are three things we can learn from this. First is this, is that Jesus, once he entered into his active ministry, he was preaching, he was teaching, he was healing, he was exercising devils, he was doing many miracles, miracles over nature, miracles over sick human bodies, he even raised three from the dead. Still, Jesus did not neglect his personal communion with God the Father. We see him, especially in the Gospel of St. Luke, separating himself and going off by himself and, and praying to God the Father. So, the first message is this, is that even though Jesus was very active, he always found time to pull apart from the crowd, from others, to pray. The second is that Jesus found a quiet place. And I think that's very important for us. We've got to pull aside from the loud noise of our modern society. We have to find a quiet place and we have to enter into dialogue with the Father. And I would say the more busy we are with activities, the more we should pray that God would bless our activities. As the psalmist says, give success to the work of our hands, give success to the work of our hands. And I think the third message is this, is before making an important decision, Jesus spent the whole night in prayer. So for us, before making important decisions, we should spend extended periods of prayer to discern what God's will is. All to see, also to seek out spiritual direction that we'll make the right decision. Because one wrong decision that we make could be catastrophic. It could wreak havoc in our lives. So before making important decisions, go and pray. That God the Father will give you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth.